Hi guys, it's Jess, and this is uh, the first part of my book tour. I thought I would start by um, just giving you the wide view. Um, these are all three of my shelves. Um, this is, these were actually the first things that I bought when I moved to my new condo. Um, I had been making do with one little bookcase, and it was definitely not enough. So um, I bought these three bookcases, and you know, it's not a room of books. I'm still working up to that, but um, a wall of books is definitely a step up. Um, so yeah, so these are these are all of them. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to point out my uh, my bottle rainbow up there. I don't know why that amuses me so much, but I like it. Um, so yeah, this is the wide view, and I'm going to go into the individual books next. Okay, so I categorize my books by genre, and then I alphabetize them by author's last name. And the first section we're going to go through is my adult fiction section, because I think it's the biggest. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first we have Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. I love her, if I haven't said that enough. I also have The Sugar Queen, The Girl Who Chased the Moon. All fabulous books. Then we have Midnight Champagne by A. Manette Enze. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Bridge Across Forever by Richard Bach, which um, if anyone has ever heard of him, um, he's similar to Nicholas Sparks, if you like Nicholas Sparks' novels. The next book is The Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing by Melissa Bank. Circle of Friends by Maeve Binchy. Irish Girls About Town by various uh, Irish chiclet authors. Smart Women by Judy Bloom. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The Parker Gray Show by Kristen Buckley. Uh, Sabrina by Deborah Cheel. This is just the movie novelization. Welcome to Temptation by Jennifer Cruzy. Cat's Meow by Melissa De La Cruz, um, who is the same author who wrote the uh, Blue Bloods series. So, um, yeah, I think she wrote this before she started writing YA. And then you will see a whole bunch of books by Mary Higgins Clark. Um, I was obsessed with her in high school. Uh, she writes mysteries, and um, I've not read all of her books, but I've read a lot of them. Um, her plot lines tend to get predictable after you've read a certain number of her books, but um, they're still, I mean, it's a fun, quick read. So um, I don't think I'm going to take each one of these out. We'll just go over the titles. Um, this is My Gal Sunday. Then we have Loves Music, Loves to Dance, All Around the Town. You Belong to Me, Weep No More My Lady, Still Watch, A Cry in the Night, The Cradle Will Fall, then we have The Anastasia Syndrome and Other Stories, The Lottery Winner, Silent Night, Let Me Call You Sweetheart, I'll Be Seeing You, We'll Meet Again, Pretend You Don't See Her, All Through the Night, Before I Say Goodbye, and Daddy's Little Girl. Then we have Patricia Cornwell. Um, she's the next author that I became obsessed with after Mary Higgins Clark. She writes true crime books. Um, in particular, I loved her uh, Scarpetta series. Uh, the first book in that series is Postmortem. And then I have to come down. The camera will move. Um, and again, I'm probably not going to take all of these out, um, but we have Hornet's Nest, which actually is not part of the Scarpetta series, but the rest of them are. Black Notice, Point of Origin, Unnatural Exposure, Cause of Death, From Potter's Field, The Body Farm, Cruel and Unusual, and All That Remains. Then we have uh, Ragtime by E.L. Doctorow, Slammerkin by Emma Donahue, Never Been Kissed by Kathy East Nubowski. I don't know why I have so many movie novelizations. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. The Crimson Petal and the White by Michael Faber. Light in August by William Faulkner. Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. White Oleander by Janet Fitch. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. 
This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Fry Green Tomatoes by Fanny Flagg. One Ragged Ridge Road by Leonard Foglia and David Richards. Ladies Made by Margaret Forrester. Marie Antoinette, The Journey by Antonia Frazier. A Virtuous Woman by Kay Gibbons. Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. Something Blue by Emily Giffen. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. The First Wives Club by Olivia Goldsmith. Flavor of the Month by Olivia Goldsmith. Fashionably Late by Olivia Goldsmith. The Best Seller by Olivia Goldsmith. Young Wives by Olivia Goldsmith. Mr. Maybe by Jane Green. Jemima J by Jane Green. Bookends by Jane Green. I like Jane Green. <laughs> Babyville by Jane Green. Oh, and there's a sticker. Shame on me. Straight Talking by Jane Green. The Other Woman by Jane Green. To Have and to Hold by Jane Green. Swapping Lives by Jane Green. Ooh, another movie novelization coming up. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves by Simon Green. The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory. The Boleyn Inheritance by Philippa Gregory. And then we have um, some books by John Grisham. Um, so we have A Painted House. The Rainmaker, The Client, The Pelican Brief, The Firm, and A Time to Kill. Oh, and The Partner. Then we have uh, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Mrs. De Winter by Susan Hill, which is a sequel to Rebecca. It's okay. Uh, Goodbye, Mr. Chips by James Hilton. Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Here on Earth by Alice Hoffman. Oh, another sticker. Uh, curses. Uh, Black Bird House by Alice Hoffman. The Dress Lodger by Sherry Holman. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Another sticker. Just pay no attention to the stickers. 30 Nothing by Lisa Jewell. Someone Like You by Kathy Kelly. Lucy Sullivan is Getting Married by Marion Keys. Watermelon by Marion Keys. These are all Marion Keys, so uh, Last Chance Saloon, Angels, Anybody Out There, Sushi for Beginners. Um, and then we have my Sophie Kinsella books. Um, so we've got uh, Confessions of a Shopaholic, Shopaholic Takes Manhattan, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, Shopaholic and Baby, Mini Shopaholic, Can You Keep a Secret, The Undomestic Goddess, Remember Me, and Twenties Girl. Then we have A Separate Piece by John Knowles, Spring Collection by Judith Krantz, She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb, Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence, the Answer is Yes by Sarah Lewis. It Could Be You by Josie Lloyd. The Boy Next Door by Josie Lloyd and Emmeline Reese. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory Maguire. Flatmates by Chris Manby. Okay, and then we have Slightly Single by Wendy Markham. Nicholas and Alexandra by Robert K. Massey. Another movie novelization, Far and Away by Sonia Massey. I have so many of those. Milk Run by Sarah Milanowski. Lolita by Vladimir Novkov. Persuading Annie by Melissa Nathan. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Larger Than Life by Adele Parks. This Heart of Mine by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. The Third Witch by Rebecca Reisert. What She Saw by Lucinda Rosenfeld. See Jane Date by Melissa Sennett. The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Weekend in Paris by Robin Sisman. Summer in the City by Robin Sisman. Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan. The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. Good in Bed by Jennifer Weiner. Cocktails for Three by Madeline Wickham, um, who is also Sophie Kinsella. The Rehearsal by Sarah Willis. Me Times Three by Alex Witchell. Diary of a Mad Bride by Laura Wolf. The Trials of Tiffany Trot by Isabel Wolf. Native Sun by Richard Wright. 
another movie novelization, <laughs> Courage Mountain by uh, Fred and Mark Brogger. And that concludes um, my adult fiction. Now we're going to get started on my young adult fiction, which is um, old and new.